Jack Holder's the one to keep your eyes on here. Jack Holder comes into this race desperate for a win. He sits on six points from four outings without a win. Yeah, both Max Frick and Jack Holder in this one need to win this race. Well, there we are, Kim Nielsen off the inside in red. Max Frick out of gate number two in blue. Simon Wozniak, gate number three in white. And Jack Holder off the outside in yellow. Five points for Max Frick. A win would be very useful indeed. A win would be even more handy for the man who sits in second place in the championship chase, Jack Holder. Certainly he'll be wanting to uh, produce something pretty special here. Not a lot of grip out wide. Not easy to run round. We saw in Dan Bewley in the uh, previous race, it just didn't work at all. Um, uh, he did just uh, lay his cards on the table right from the word go, but yeah. it didn't, uh, didn't work out for him. Hard to generate enough speed that far wide on the first turn. Absolutely. Heat number 19, then green lights on, tapes up, we're underway. Nielsen's made a smashing start on the inside, clear into the first corner. Here comes Holder around the outside, trying to get the better of his compatriot. Oh, it's tight there with Wozniak coming up the inside of Max Frick. Oh, and a bit of argy bargy. Kim Nielsen out in front. Here comes Holder. Oh, comes Holder now. Move. Super move from him. He needed the win. He's fired himself to the front. Kim Nielsen now relegated to second place. Not what Max Frick needed at all back in third. But Jack Holder, he's back against the wall needed a win, producing really when he needed to. He's been chased by Kim Nielsen, but Jack Holder, second in the championship chase, coming good when he really needed to. Yeah, Jack Holder coming from gate four, didn't make a bad start, just got across uh, two other riders. Kim Nielsen led him, but he great cut back on the first lap, and now he's looking reasonably comfortable. I'm sure he'll be hearing all the noises. He knows he's got to win this race. He's just working the track now. You can see how hard he's riding. He's stretched his arms, his body weight's as far back as it can be down the straight. They're all suffering from wheel spin. Jack Holder then, a crucial win for him in the context of the evening and the championship, keeping his hopes alive of another final. Been so consistent. He's been in the final in the last three occasions. And uh, I would say there's a, a sense of relief there after that uh, crucial win, but a character-building ride, that's for sure. And uh, fair play to Jack Holder coming through when he really needed to. Three points for Jack Holder then. Kim Nielsen, his best rider of the night, second place there. Max Frick disappointing on third place, and Wozniak, well, a night to forget for him. But now we can see with Jack Holder suddenly uh, pushing his way into fifth place there, nine points just what he required and uh, they will be able to be a little bit more confident about the rest of the evening because certainly he had pace but for Ty Woofenden he's under threat certainly hanging on to eighth place um, but um, uh, Jason Doyle in the last one but we'll wait and see exactly how it transpires but uh, certainly for Jack Holder this was crucial. Yeah, this was crucial. This puts him in the semi-final, and as you rightly say, Kelvin, it keeps his challenge on Smarslik well and truly alive. Uh, Got to say, though, uh, Max Frick will be disappointed. He's going to miss out on the semi-final spot on six points. Looking at the uh, scores so far, Heat 20 coming up, I think the positions are already settled, Kelvin. I think it's done. I think the top eight right now is the top eight. OK, well, that means a good fortune for Ty Woofenden, who hasn't won a race tonight, but it's just going to uh, potentially squeeze through. We'll have it confirmed, of course, by the FIM at the completion of uh, this next race. And uh, we'll have it confirmed for you. But uh, Jack Holder is through.